hello everyone in this lecture we are going to discuss file stream classes so here in this diagram we are having c++ program in our previous lecture we have seen that in program input stream is getting stream generated from keyboard or other input device and generates output stream and display it on monitor or printer like output device but here we are having disk files or we can say files from this file we are going to read data it will generate input stream and we will use it in our program program will perform some operations and generate output stream and that will be stored or written in disk files so till now in every c++ program we have taken input from keyboard and displayed output in monitor but here we are going to read input from file and generate output and write it on file so let us discuss file stream classes for file operations we already have discussed ios class that is deriving i stream class that is for input string buffer class that is pointer to the buffer and o stream class that is output stream using multiple inheritance io stream class is derived from i stream and o stream both together and using virtual base class it is deriving properties of ios class these all classes are defined in iostream.h header file so if you are going to use any member function or object of one of this class then you are supposed to include iostream file at the beginning of your program now next from ios1 classes derived there is fstream base class you can get that from name that it will be used for file stream now from fstream base there is one class derived that is ifstream name itself suggests that it will be input file stream so whenever you are going to take any input from file then we are supposed to use member functions of if stream the only difference between these two name is that we have just included letter f that will indicate that this stream class will be used for file same way we are deriving of stream class that will be used to write output on file next from f stream base class we are deriving f stream class and f stream class also derives properties from io stream class as well so member functions and member variables will be inherited to the fstream class same way members and member functions of ifstream class are derived in ifstream class and member variables and member function of ostream class is derived in ostream class same like ifstream and ostream here stream buffer is deriving class file buffer and that will be pointed to the file buffer these all classes are defined in fstream header file so if you are going to use any member function or any object of one of this class then you are supposed to include fstream header file at the beginning of your program so if you are getting input from keyboard or any other device and generating output in your monitor or printer then you are supposed to use any members of this class and for that we include iostream but if you are dealing with file then you are supposed to include fstream so here ifstream will be used to read content from file and that content will be given to program and we will process it and we will generate output now that output will be written to the file and for that we will use class ofstream let us discuss this all in detail the class fstream base provides operations common to file streams like open and close functions if stream provide input operations and contains open with default input mode and it inherits get get line read sigg and tellg from the i stream class as we have seen our previous hierarchy next of stream provides output operations contains open with default output mode and it inherits put sigp tellp and write functions from o stream same way f stream class provides support for simultaneous input and output operations together inherits all the functions from i stream and o stream next is file buffer its purpose is to set the file buffers to read and write so now we have discussed all the classes related to file next is file handling steps to deal with file first of all you need to open existing file or if it is not there then you are supposed to create a file as a first step second step you can read that open file or created file or you can write some content in that particular file after performing any of this operation you are supposed to close that particular file now let us discuss create and write file 
or we can say we are writing output in our file so first of all we'll create one file and write output in that particular file so first thing you need to create object of of stream class so here object is created by writing class name of stream now object name is send you can write any name over here but we are writing some output to the file that's why named as send next call open function using of stream object here we have created object send using this object we are going to open a file using open function so send dot open in that function you are supposed to provide file name so here open function will open existing file if file is not exist then it will create a particular file with the given name now file is open we are supposed to write data in that particular file so i am writing some data using object of of stream it is send then insertion operator and we are inserting this string in that particular file using send object after writing this data to the file we are supposed to close that particular file and it will be closed by calling close member function so it will be called using send dot close so let us write program for this in editor so here we are having basic program structure now we are going to create object of of stream class and we are going to use member functions of file for that we need to include F stream header file because if stream of stream and other classes are defined in F stream header file so let us create object of stream send now using send I am opening file I am giving name abc.txt now file is open we can write some data in that particular file using insertion operator I'm giving message hello this is India and after writing the data I'm closing file by calling close function so let us save and execute this program here there is no output in our monitor string because we have given output to the abc.txt file so let us see that particular file here new file abc.txt generated and output is hello this is India let us change the message let us execute this code and the output is India is great country so in this way you can open a file and write your output in particular file moving forward let us discuss open and read file so we are going to open a file and get input from that particular file so for that you are supposed to create object of if stream so we have created object receive of type if stream class next we are going to open that file using receive object so receive dot open it will open abc.txt file now we are going to read the content of that particular file so we are going to write object name accession operator and the input will be stored in variable name we can also write receive dot get line and we'll get that particular input in variable name after performing reading we are going to close that particular file so let us write program for that here i'm changing just if stream receive receive dot open now file is open so we are going to take input from file and supposed to store in particular variable so let us declare one character array of size 50 and we will extract data from file and insert into name after performing that i am going to close that particular file now to display that received data i am using cout let us execute this code it is displaying name equals to India but the content of our file is India is great country so here these accession operator extract up to white spaces to get enter string in input we can write receive dot get line let us comment this executing the code here we are getting interesting India is great country you can get input from file using accession operator and 
get line function as well so this is the methodology to open a file or create a file writing data in that file and reading data in particular file thank you